Well, earlier I spoke to the Conservative MP Gillian Keegan and I began by asking her how Boris Johnson can unite the country when the election results suggest it is still bitterly divided. Um, I don't think the votes do suggest it's bitterly divided. I mean, you know, we've been talking about one nation conservatism. We actually represent every nation. We have more seats in Wales now. We have six seats still in Scotland. We've got seats in the northeast, the northwest. We've got seats in the Midlands. We've got seats all over the country. So we represent every part of the country. We represent every different type of people in the country as well, from every different socio-demographic. So that's the start. If you're talking about leave and remain, how you unite those people who still may feel they want to remain, then the answer there is to do a sensible Brexit, a good deal with the EU, and make sure the voices of the four nations, and particularly young people, are heard in the next stage of the negotiation. Do you see any problem with Boris Johnson claiming a mandate for leaving the EU when, in fact, more people voted for parties that want a second referendum or to revoke than parties that are committed to leaving? In our system, if this doesn't give a mandate, nothing ever will. Of course it does. You know, look, the, the, the Parliament has been stuck. The British people have basically cleared the way through and said, here you go, get on with it. We want to leave with a deal. And so what kind of government do you think this is going to be? I mean, you know, because we, we've heard this before. We heard this from Theresa May talking about wanting to tackle the great injustices and nothing very much happened. I mean, do, do you think he will deliver when he says, you know, he wants to address the concerns of those people who lent him their votes? That, that is what we all want to do. The Labour Party and other parties try to pretend or, or try to proclaim that they've got superior value sets. Every single person in politics wants to tackle the same issues we have in our country. We just think we've got a better, more credible plan to do it. Do you have any concerns about the other agendas that go along with this, though? I mean, those sort of rather oblique references in the Conservative Party manifesto to looking at the Constitution, the Supreme Court, their approach to the media. All of those sorts of things could change at the same time. I don't because honestly I think what is what defines the Conservative Party and the reason I'm a Conservative is sensible pragmatic um, policies. So the Conservative Party is never going to be extreme. People try to paint us as extreme but we're not. We're actually a centrist by nature very centrist. This majority means we will have the ability to be a true one nation Conservative government unlike that we, we haven't seen for decades and I'm very excited about that. Do you think that goes for the people around Boris Johnson as well? I don't know that. I, I guess you're talking about Dominic Cummings and some of those people. I don't know that but you know there's a lot of extreme um, talk in, 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 this, in this conversation and it was all really around Brexit and you know you have very extreme positions like the Lib Dems and you had very extreme positions like the Brexit party and you know they paint Dominic Cummings out to be you know somewhere somewhere you know extreme as well I don't see that what he's delivered is a, 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 a you know a, a conservative he's helped deliver a conservative majority and for people all over the, the country um, you know his strategy um, and the strategy that the Prime Minister had with yeah, many other people has, has, has been successful. I mean, you've always wanted to moderate the party's position on Brexit. I mean, do you think there is any problem with a Brexit that is sensible in your terms um, when there are lots of people who have voted Conservative who might otherwise have voted for the Brexit party and want something a bit harder? You know, can you actually satisfy everybody? Actually, if you look at the, the three and a half years worth of work that's been done with the civil servants, with everybody else. It is clear that what you need to do to solve the problem of Brexit is you need to get something that unpicks a 45-year-old relationship without damaging everything and give us the opportunity to build a, a, a future collaborative uh, arrangement with the EU. That's what we'll do. It's as simple as that. Dean Keegan, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, while Boris